Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create a basic shapes in Illustrator. In the tool palette, you get the access to the shape tool. Right click, you get access to more shapes like rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygonal tool, star tool, and flare tool. To begin with, rectangle tool, just click and drag over the canvas area. You can either create a horizontal or a vertical rectangle. If you just click and drag, you will be getting a flexible way to create a rectangle. But to create a perfect square, you need to press shift key on your keyboard. You will notice that the objects get created from the point that you have clicked the mouse. But if you press shift and all keys together, you will notice that the shapes creates from the center. Now you will notice four points in the corner of the square shape. You just need to click on the point and drag to get rounded corners. Similarly, in the rectangle shape, you will also get to see the points where you can also click and drag to get the rounded corners. But if you need rounded corners only in the specific corners, you need to first click and select the point and then drag. You can now click and select the point using shift key, select the another point and drag to get the curve just like this. Okay, now I will delete all these and create a square shape again, pressing shift and all keys together. Now you can apply any colors to your shape using fill and stroke. You can easily change the thickness of the stroke by increasing the stroke values. Now I select the corner points using shift keys and drag to get the shape. Now let's use rounded rectangle tool. You will notice that the corners of the rectangle is already round. You can also click and drag the points for more or less curves. Now let's use ellipse tool to create oval shape. But if you need to create a circle, just press shift key and drag or shift and alt key together to create from the center. I am using selection tool to select all the shapes and delete. Let's create polygon shape using polygon tool. You will notice that there is a small point on the right hand side of the transformation box. If you drag upwards, the side of the polygon reduces and if you drag downwards, the size of the polygon increases. Now let me delete these shapes and create a star shape using star tool. Now let me create another star shape, but this time I press shift key, don't release the mouse. Click on control key and drag the mouse upward or downward to create the point outside or inside the shape. Now let me create another using shift and alt key and without releasing the mouse, just press up and down arrow key to increase or decrease the sides. Let's try the flare tool. First you need to click and drag and then click anywhere in the artboard. You get to see the lens flare shapes which comes with blending modes. It works well on the image. I'll be discussing about this in later class. Now let's try some other shapes like line tool. Press shift key and drag to create a perfect straight line. You can also increase the value of the stroke. You can also change the style of the stroke from the template given. But if you don't need any style, then you can go to the template menu and click on the uniform option. Right click on the line tool, select arc tool and create arc shape like how I am doing. Now let's delete this shape. Let's use spiral tool to create a spiral shape and without releasing the mouse, press up 
or down arrow keys to increase or decrease the number of turns. Spiral tool still selected, click on the empty space, you will get the panel window where you can select the spiral direction. Click on OK and you will see an anti-clockwise spiral. Select rectangle grid tool and drag over the canvas area. You get to see rows and columns. I have not yet released the mouse. I click on up and down arrow to increase or decrease the numbers of rows and left and right arrow keys to increase or decrease the number of columns. Let's delete this too and create a polar grid using polar grid tool. Click and drag but don't release the mouse. Press up and down arrow keys as well as left and right arrow keys to increase and decrease the numbers of grids. I know you all now can create basic shapes and play around with colors of fills and stroke too. Bye for now and I'll be back with next interesting video.